Hey guys, Infidel1258. Today we're going to talk about Rooney because, man, it snuck up on me. You guys may have seen, but maybe you haven't, that the Rooney is like ready to go. We are at whitelist level, like 20 hours and 20, 24 hours from now. By the time you're, by the time you're watching this video, it's going to be like seven, eight hours away where you, if you have a whitelist uh, for your Rooney, and I have three Rooney kits, then you can start purchasing. You can start actually minting those runicore. That's the long form of the word Rooney. And if you, I, I want to spend a few minutes today talking about this because there's a few details you might not know. And if you're interested in Rooney or whether you have a, a Rooney kit or whether you want to have a Rooney, uh, stick around for this one because there's going to be a few different things that I've learned now that I want to share with you. First thing is we're a day away from the minting process beginning now. This is not a this is not for the general sale or what you would call like the public sale. This is for those of you who currently own a Rooney kit. These are you already whitelisted your account. You you linked an ETH, uh, co you connected an ETH wallet to your Splinterlands account, and you paid a certain amount of vouchers um, to to secure a whitelist spot or a Rooney kit as they call it. And then in twenty hours from now probably eight hours from the time you're watching this, you're going to be on this page. You're going to be on the OpenSea page, which is, there's a whole new partnership, which is happening with, with OpenSea, which is really cool. They're going to feature us uh, for two full days. They're going to be featuring Splinterlands, the Rooney and on the, like on their homepage, which is awesome. And also they've got this, like the site's all set up and ramped up so that million, like, I guess hundreds of thousands of people are going to have access to see this, to be, I guess, advertised to, uh, and this community, of course, is people who are interested in NFTs. So it's it's really tar uh, like a well-targeted, it seems as though it's a well-targeted ad campaign. And then in here, I've learned some things too. Like, well, first of all, there's some really cool, I've never seen this one before. That artwork's really neat. There's some stuff here that I, I wasn't aware of. The first thing is that um, October 25th is the, at 11 a.m. PDT, is the time when you're allowed to begin that process of minting and the cost is 0.19 ETH for the Rooney, Rooney component kit owners. That's those of you who, who, who paid vouchers earlier to secure a spot or it's 0.38 ETH for promotional recipients and contest winners. Um, so what this means is some people actually got an opportunity to get one of these whitelisted Rooney's through they participated in, in a, in a, uh, promotion they won a contest and those recipients have to pay 0.38 eth and here's the thing um that window look at november 3rd is when the actual public sale opens you do not it says on the main page we'll go back there in a second you don't want to wait until november 3rd if you have a whitelist if you have an allow list like rooney kit core rooney Rooney kit as they call them, then uh, you really want to take action here between tomorrow and November 3rd, um, or you actually might lose the value associated with that Rooney kit. Check this out. When we go over here on the uh, shop and you go into Rooney and you scroll down, you get the whitelist details and it talks about during the whitelist minting phase in the second paragraph here, all whitelist participants have advanced access to minting their Rooney on the OpenSea platform. That's you and me who have these Rooney kits, they call them. During this period, all levels of whitelists will be honored. That This includes Rooney, Rooney component kit owners, that's me, maybe you, um, promotional recipients, contest winners, all relevant reservations, discounts, or credits will be applied at the time of minting. So everyone who has like essentially a pre-order for, for like a kind of a generic terminology um, are going to have be able to access during that November, October 25th through November 3rd. And it's really important that you do access and purchase them then. Why? All, all whitelist participants are encouraged to mint their Rooney before the general sale on November 3rd. Once the general sale commences, there will no longer be a guaranteed reservation to mint. And all minting opportunities become first come, first serve. There's only maximally, I believe, 6,500 Rooney. Yep, max circulating supply, 6,500. It's possible 
that if you're if you're not paying attention right now and you happen to fail to comp you you've already bought a Rooney kit or you won one in a contest and you're just waiting to get the you know the Ethereum in order you you, you need point you need at least point one nine ETH assuming you already have a Rooney kit and you didn't win that kit you need point one nine ETH which is no joke, right? It's like, it's a, what is that? Based on current Ether, Ethereum prices, Ethereum is 13, 1344. So you go 1344 times 0.19. You're talking 255 US dollars per today's price. And if, you know, if Ethereum fluctuates, they've locked it in. It's going to be 0.19. Um, so if Ethereum was the spike overnight, 5, 10, 20%, which I doubt, but let's say it did between now and November 3rd or whenever you, you secure your spot, between now and the time that you actually buy your Rooney, mint your Rooney, it's possible this price could 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 change because the price of ETH is going to change. But if you don't, if you're waiting to get that two hundred fifty five dollars worth of ETH or that 0.19 ETH together, you might end up forget. You might run out of this this window of time, and then it's first come first serve. So your mint, the fact that I have a Rooney kit, doesn't mean I get a Rooney. I have a ticket, I can go stand in line and claim that Rooney with an extra $255 worth of ETH, or I can fail to do so and essentially lose access to the value of that card. So this is really, really important, guys. You're, you you only, just because you bought a Rooney kit or you whitelisted your account, or you write, you know, even if you got multiple kits as I have, None of that means that I have a Rooney yet. It just means that I, c I have a ticket that I can stand in line with to then claim it between tomorrow, October 25th, 11 a.m. or PDT time um, and November 3rd, after which time, after November 3rd, all bets are off. And, and if the marketplace of, let's say, the OpenSea marketplace goes very, gets excited, excited over this, and I, you know, I've heard hundreds of thousands of maybe millions of people are accessing this open sea site regularly on a daily basis and and our our site and our game and this project will be featured on their homepage for two full days if there was a if there's possible there is a possibility that the community of people would buy up all rooney that are there available of the, of the 6500 it's possible i'm not i don't know if that's going to happen but i'm saying it's possible and that means that I need to take action like now, even though I, I, I kind of want to wait, I kind of want to get my, my cryptocurrency in order. I, I don't really want to rush into this. It's a lot of money. I've got three of them. It's 800 us dollars. I've got to, I've got to get situated. Um, but my back's against the wall a little bit here. And I want you guys to recognize that your back is potentially against the wall in terms of timing here. You don't want to wait until November 3rd. And there's one more last thing I want to share with you. This is fun. I didn't know this. So you guys know that the Rooney is a randomly generated piece of artwork and that there are six different components in the card. See, there are six category traits and you they're randomly selected and they're unique across every single Rooney, which is cool, right? There's I forget what they all are, but the crown is one of them. The weapon is one of them, the head, the body, the armor. I forget what they all are, but the features uh, that are that make your Rooney unique are comprised of six different categories. And those those of those pieces of your picture are completely randomized and unique. Now, something that I've seen here on the website, they talk about on the website, they, this is the OpenSea website and they, and they, you know, they explain the project and they, under the roadmap that I found that there was some interesting stuff here. Check this out. Like I said, 2000 Rooney allow list spots were sold on Splinterlands website, meaning 2000 people were allowed to to do what i do like i'm gonna have a window of time where i can mint my rooney before the general sale before the public sale that that sold out in two minutes so that speaks to probably the the eagerness of our community and maybe to the broader community so keep that in mind then on october 25th that's when the the allow list sale commences um they talk about rooney staking and how you can utilize them in game this is cool check this out Coming soon. This is this will be the last thing we talk about. Coming soon. Rooney component swapping. Each Rooney consists of six different components. If the Rooney owner has more than one Rooney NFT, they will be able to swap components between their Rooney, which will change the look of the NFT. And subsequently, the the Rooney card receives is received in Splinterlands when staking the Rooney NFT. So, as a person who holds three, it's possible I might like certain features on one and and, and better than the others 
in and you can they are planning to implement utility whereby you can change essentially mix and match the clothes i guess i think that's cool i actually said that one of the things i want them to do is allow us to re-roll the stats like the appearance essentially not the stats but the the randomness of its appearance give me let me spend vouchers and sps to re-roll that like it's a random generated piece of artwork let me commit some sort of value and just and have a chance to shuffle that and maybe i would like that better or maybe i would hate it worse and then i might re-roll again and again and again it could, be, it could become a burn mechanic for for the game and for um um yeah, it could become a burn mechanic for those in-game assets within Splinterlands. So that's exciting. And I love that they're they're at least creating the opportunity for you to swap between your multiple Rooney. And that might cause intrigue on the sale market for Rooney because there will be people who are collectors who love a certain appearance of a certain Rooney and want it for the purpose of its appearance even more than just the utility. Like think within Splinterlands by itself, forget about, yes, there's a broader NFT community and they are almost certainly buying things like this just because it looks ex it looks a certain way. But our community has a little bit of that too. And if you have a really particularly cool, for instance, if you have a clock Rooney, um, that would be something that would appeal to me as you know a guild owner of time and attention. Um, that's my expression. I use it all the time on the web or on uh, the YouTube channel. And it would be really cool and desirable. And it's possible that your your Rooney ends up having that 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 having that built into its appearance. And then it starts to become attractive that I could buy that and switch, even if I want to keep my core Rooney and the appearance generally speaking of what I've got, but I want to add in that one feature. Think of that. That's pretty neat. It could it, it, you're essentially because of this Rooney component swapping, you potentially are going to create a a, a resale market by, based on the appearance alone and the and the the components within it. And then the card's still functional, of course. If I bought your Rooney with its with its clock, I could then swap your clock onto my main Rooney, the one I that I kind of characterize as my my own my main Rooney, and then I could resell yours with you know with the secondary parts that I didn't want and someone might love that. And so I think that's pretty neat. And I didn't know about that until I was just poking around here on the open sea. So guys, there's a lot to think about. And I think you're, if you're, if you are whitelisted for this thing, you got to start planning for it now because you know, 255 us dollars worth of Ethereum is required and you do not want to wait past November 3rd. So if you're reading, if you're listening to this video, the day it launches, you probably only have a few hours more to kind of be among the first who mint. I'm hoping that I'll get all my ducks in a row and be able to mint right away so that I can be one of the first community members to like see what I've got, to post what I've got, to discuss it on, you know, another video maybe, uh, and so on. So if that sounds interesting, stick around for either follow me on Twitter or make sure you're, you know, um, following subscribed on youtube of course but then you know for all posts so you can see when i uh i send you some pictures of what my rooney looks like you guys have an amazing day god bless